To do or not to do, 6 reasons to take specialized TEFL courses. I have run my own businesses for many years. I used to have my staff tell people when they called looking for me, tell anyone that is looking for me that I'm on a course. This has it appear I was always looking to better myself, and technically I wasn't telling lies because I was on a golf course. That was back in the day. Since those days I have done more than 50 different educational courses. One could say I have some experience in the area of courses. I had the idea to do the 120 hour course before Christmas 2019. I did the first three units of that course before I was pulled away by my business, and it was March 2020 until I could get back into the course. My wife was concerned I would never get back into the course. When I first signed up, I got a free extra course because I purchased the package with a tutor and videos package. I was pleased to also see that an extra course was thrown in. I remember thinking, I might do the course, I might not, it doesn't matter if I don't do the course because it was free anyway. Right after I did the 120 hour course, I started the free certificate in teaching English to young learners course. Here are the six reasons that it's a great idea to do this course. One, young learners, I mean the really young learners, you can start with them because you can learn with them. I'll explain that a bit better here. If you have a fear of tenses, then you will be learning the tenses with your students at their level. You'll pick it up faster and you'll get better at them. Two. The Certificate in Teaching English to Young Learners course has only 6 units in it. 3. Unit 1 is just an introduction unit. You can do this unit standing on your head with your eyes closed. Yes it really is that simple. 4. Unit 2 is entitled Teaching and Learning. The unit basically teaches you about the age group you are dealing with. Very easy stuff. Unit 3 is entitled Course Development. This unit makes you think a little. Then there is materials and management as unit 4. This unit is all about the different types of materials available to use, and how easy it is to find them. What's engaging and what's not. Basic common sense stuff really. Unit 5 is a no-brainer, teaching themes it's about what kids want to do like playing games, and how to adapt board games, arts, and crafts, songs, and chants. How easy is that right? Five. The final unit entitled Professional Development actually talks about where to apply for jobs, and how your resume should look. This is the goal for this course for you. Anyone that doubts they might not be able to get work, or they don't think they will know how to get the work, this is your unit. I can guess what you are thinking at this stage, you're thinking this is all about the kids course, and I want to do the certificate in business English, or but this guy said at the start he had 6 reasons to do both courses. Hang in there with me. 6. What do you notice about these lists? Certificate Teaching English to Young Learners, Unit 1 Introduction, Unit 2 Teaching and Learning, Unit 3 Course Development, Unit 4 Materials and Management, Unit 5 Teaching Themes, Unit 6 Professional Development. Certificate Teaching Business English, Unit 1 Course Introduction, Unit 2 Teaching and Learning, Unit 3 Course Development, Unit 4 Materials, Unit 5 Teaching Themes, Unit 6 Business English World That's right they are virtually identical both in content and in the tests. Honestly if you do one of these courses, you would be crazy not to do the other one straight after. I literally mean just follow on one after the other, doing one unit a day. When you do the second course, it will be very much like reviewing the first one. Here is some proof for you. I did certificate teaching English to young learners first 92%. There is so much you already know from the 120 hour course. Then I did the certificate teaching business English course 98%. I got two questions wrong, and both of those questions I knew the correct answer, I just stupidly ticked the wrong multiple choice circle. Here is another huge bonus. You'll have more qualifications than the most other applicants applying for the same work. If the other applicants have more real life experience than you because you are new, have two more easy to get certificates, that could say this person is dedicated, they have the extra certifications, or could even say this person is the only one with both qualifications, let's get this one, why wouldn't you get these? In all honesty it was like paying for a certificate, not a course. I did get some valuable information, however the study component was minimal. Do both courses trust me, I have done exactly this. 
I wouldn't ask anyone to do something I wouldn't be willing to do myself. Brand new 50-hour TEFL specialization for teaching English online. ITTT just came out with another super valuable extra TEFL course, the 50 hours course in teaching English online. If you are interested in teaching English online from your home or while traveling the world, this is another amazing additional course to have in your portfolio. Do you want to teach English online or abroad? Take a TEFL course. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking that button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.